I couldn't stop taking screenshots while I played Kentucky Route Zero. This surreal adventure game is consistently stunning to look at, and the strange and twisting story that fans have been following for nearly seven years tantalizingly drew me through all of its lovely locations. With the launch of its fifth and final act and simultaneous release on consoles, we're reviewing Kentucky Route Zero as a whole with fresh eyes. And while it's not a road trip without its bumps, it's still a heartwarming journey I'm very glad to have taken. Kentucky Route Zero is ostensibly a point-and-click adventure game, but not quite like classics like Monkey Island or Grim Fandango. It largely replaces item collection and puzzle solving with reams of intimate dialogue and an impressive amount of choice in how your characters navigate every conversation. Your goal through its five main acts is to find an address that seemingly doesn't exist, only accessible through a peculiar hidden highway called the Zero. Along the way, your starting protagonist Conway gathers companions who somewhat arbitrarily join in the trek. Each one is an interesting character in their own right, offering new perspectives and opening up different dialogue options during conversations. Instead of just choosing Conway's words, you might decide to respond as the more forthright Shannon, the imaginative child Ezra, or my personal favorite, the charmingly down-to-earth musician Junebug. I'm sure there's a whole novel's worth of dialogue hidden in the choices I didn't make. Kentucky Route Zero frequently shakes up the way its dialogue is delivered, too. Some scenes are straightforward conversations, but others might, for example, be shown entirely from the perspective of security guards watching you through old camera footage. Things certainly start out simpler, but only get more ambitious and unexpected as the acts go on. One highlight lets you watch a play from the view of an actor on stage, while another just has you running around as a cat, listening to conversations play out. This endless creativity is a vital reason things stayed fresh through the roughly eight hours it took me to finish Kentucky Route Zero. One of the first tasks in Kentucky Route Zero is to unlock a computer, but this simple activity sets the stage for what you'll be doing essentially the whole game. The computer's owner tells Conway the password is some poem he enters through muscle memory, comically suggesting Conway just starts typing to see what happens. No matter what lines you pick from the pre-written options given, you'll always enter the right password. That's the basis of this entire adventure. As you travel the Zero and hunt for your MacGuffin delivery address, you'll constantly be asked to make choices, not knowing the correct answer to any of them. As soon as you choose, your answer becomes fact. These choices can be as mundane as the name of Conway's dog, or as deep as if a character has siblings. A particularly magical moment in Act 3 has you picking the lyrics to a gorgeous song as it's sung back to you in real time. Standing is one of my favorite scenes in a game in a long time. By the final act, you'll control so many people that you're effectively just having conversations with yourself, and somehow it feels entirely natural. Your choices never really change the outcome of the plot, but it's also engaging and interesting that I still love the power of picking conversation paths and marching merrily down them. The whole game is the same as that early scene writing poetry for a computer password without knowing the right answer, just on a significantly more elaborate scale. But while Kentucky Route Zero's writing is consistently strong, the way in which it's delivered sometimes isn't. I adored that this strange and mysterious tale doesn't outright explain much of its world, but then random characters you meet briefly in a gas station will abruptly launch into their life story. These unexpected dumps of exposition are always well written, just ham-fistedly presented, which causes Kentucky Route Zero's already slow and deliberate pace to stutter at times. A couple of the big character moments feel similarly out of the blue, and frustratingly avoidable from the perspective of an onlooker. Without spoiling anything, this certainly didn't happen often, but sometimes it made me wish for the level of control Kentucky Route Zero's constant dialogue choices make it seem like you have. With the exception of a couple key plot points left hanging, the way this seven-year story wraps up is really quite lovely. Act 5 leans into many of Kentucky Route Zero's strengths without ruining the wonder at its heart with over-explanation. A fate likely worse than any of the small missteps it makes along the way. Kentucky Route Zero is a beautiful poetry generator in the body of a point-and-click adventure game. It's frequently stunning to look at and beautifully written throughout. The way it tells its magical modern-day story can occasionally be overly blunt, stuttering like Conway's rickety old delivery van at times, 
but the creativity with which it delivers its dialogue and the freedom you have to shape it toward your interests makes this an ethereal road trip worth taking. For more great adventures, check out our reviews of After Party or Disco Elysium. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.